both a, a meet and greet and a reunion. Water I'm weightless. Uh, we're thinking about doing a design that involves a set that's sort of like what you might do for a dance, rather than being a set that you would have for a theater. So it tends to be kind of up in the air, so that it doesn't uh, impact on the performers. They can move anywhere they want to on the stage. And I'm interested in two things. One is to uh, have some kind of poetic and evocative things that happen visually. But I also want to help to capture the kind of simple, straightforward, live experience that people, audience members as people, are going to have with the people who are the actors. One of the things that we've always wanted with National Theatre Wales is to really get a sense of the, the breadth of, of the society, of the world, of the place that is Wales, and all the different voices that are part of it. And so um, this opportunity really to um, work with disabled and deaf performers and to discover and express those voices seems a really important part of the, of the wider story that National Theatre Wales can tell. Piece, so I'm led to understand, is, uh, has come from a group of monologues uh, written by Kate, uh, and it's called the DE Monologues, and kind of uh, centres around um, disability and death, uh, and the, the real experience of that as a life. So doing this is, is an, a new experience. Uh, I'm actually seeing disability, working with disability, uh, feeling disabled for the first time. We're just performers. We're just talking about life experiences. They just happen to be disabled life experiences.